See, here we are at the Grave Hills, right? Yes. The dolmens are over there. You can see them from there, right? Yes. And here you will see, uh, yeah, it is hard to see on camera. Maybe, maybe if I move down, you see the hills better. See that? Yeah. It's hard to see uh, the contrast, of course, because there's depth involved. I don't know how well that will show on camera. But there are seven of those, they are called the, the Barna, you know. Basically the seven children, right. There are many, many, many tumulus in there. If you look there through the trees, you see there are another one standing, you know. So many others are much bigger, you know. And all very close to all to the dormants. This entire forest is basically completed, com completely filled with tumuli, but but also with dolmens. If you go all the way to the back there, Right, there's also a dolmen next to a pingu ruin, you know, and even though the brim, because these, these tumuli, because they are not, uh, uh, they are not urn fields, right, these are not urn hills, you know, you also have like urn fields and stuff, but this is not an urn field, this is, these are tumuli, this is Bronze Age. If you have uh, urn fields, they are even later, so that would be Iron Age. You know, so later is then closer to our time, right? Yes, but this is Bronze Age. But by, by the close proximity that the dolmens are over there, it could be that maybe in the Bronze Age, those, those dolmens there, because dolmens typically, you know, the Neolithic structures, right, the big stones, right, were basically also covered in hills. You know what I mean? So. They would look similar to this entire burrow structure, you know, where, where, you, where, you, where, you, where they create a hill, see? So, so basically, all, all dolmens used to be covered in, in, in hills like this as well. You know, only then a bit bigger, of course, you know. Yes. You can see that in, uh, in Germany, just across the border, right, in the Eemsland, because Ammon is basically also part of the Eemsland, culturally speaking, right? There you have uh, the Königsgrab, which is the king's grave, and they restored that. There you see, they, they, there you see that, uh, that the hill is for a very big part still there. They also did that here in Emme, in Schoonoord, with the Papeloze Kerk. I don't know the dolmen number of that, I believe it's like 47 or 48, I don't know. But if you go to the website of, uh, yeah, if you just start looking at dolmens in the Netherlands, you know. Or you visit my YouTube channel where I visit all those things, you know. Yeah, then, then you can see that as well where they, uh, where they did an attempt to restore it and, 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 and uh, leave the hill on it and stuff like that, you know. But the Papaloza Kerk is very heavily reconstructed. They just took other stones. Uh, just to make it whole again, you know, so, yes, but the Bronze Age is also, of course, very old, I believe the Bronze Age is here, like, uh, what would it be, like 1500 BC, you know, so, yeah, it's not as old as the Neolithic, of course, which is 5000 years old, which means 3500 BC, so these are basically like 2000 years after the things they built there. But the fact that it is so close by, right, if we can see the dolmen from here, you know, yeah, this, you can say a lot of changed in thousands of years, you know, but you, if you look there between the trees, right, you can see the dolmen from there, you know, so that they, yeah, that they definitely were aware that it was there, because it was already in their time, it was already there for 2,000 years. I hope I didn't hear him bark because then he's uh, finding deers, you know, it's too crowded in the forest today. I know, yeah, he's a hunting dog, of course, and no, I don't give a fuck because usually I'm in the forest on weekdays. It just happens to be weekend now, you know, and then there are more people in the forest. So I don't give a fuck if my dog is chasing deers. I only care about, you know, people commenting on it, you know. <whistles> Go! Here he comes. 
That's Baku, by the way. Oi. Yeah, come on, my city. Good, so. That's bra. So if you like this stuff, you know, if you like archaeology, you know, you can check the other videos because I'm basically now making a tour. But there are many, many, many tumuli in the forest here everywhere, you know. You can see it over there. You know, there are some very big ones, you know. I don't think I'm going to visit them now because, like I said, you know, they just look like that, you know. Yes. And basically, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. I can go by and film them all. I also did that many times and also made pictures of them many times and stuff like that. You know, and I'm basically just wanting to go that way into the field, you know, to, to, to watch some deers and, and, and hares and, you know, yeah. The hawks are also, also very active. They are also mating right now, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a spring is springing, you know, we call that, this the pre-spring, you know, I call this the pre-spring. You know, because it is, uh, uh, yeah, one, one of those lucky days where you can feel like the year is starting again, you know. Yesterday I also saw some uh, run over toads and stuff like that, you know. So you just feel that in nature. If you're a nature person like me, you know, an outdoors person, you know, yeah, you feel those things and you want to be there. And visiting these kind of monuments, you know, the monuments of our ancestors, basically, right? Yes. That is a big part of that, that happens naturally. I just woke up this morning, you know, and I wanted to come here. I wanted to do this route, you know. I really see it like a, a bit of a ceremonial route through the sacred landscape, if you will. You know, yes. And a lot of people will not understand what that is, you know, because many people are completely de-rooted and have no, no concept of culture whatsoever. Can you see my dog over there? He's, he's watching there. He, he wants to go that way, so... Just gonna take the mountain bike and go that way. I want to go that way as well, you know, yeah, because he knows where the deers are as well. But anyways, have a nice day.